A woman whose job it was to protect children is arrested for lying in her reports. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office says it's now working to make sure she didn't put other children at risk. And ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler has that story. The unit at the Pasco County Sheriff's Office is known as CPI, Child Protective Investigations. They often deal with cases of abuse and mistreatment. There are reports nationwide of CPI agents who are overworked and can't keep up with their caseloads, but Sheriff Chris Nocco says that's no excuse for what happened here. Major part of our job is to go out there and interview, to interview to make sure, you know, you are that decision to make sure you go to a judge and say, you know, the kid's safe or to say the kid's not safe and we have to do something about it. That is absolutely critical. The sheriff's office says CPI investigator Jennifer Wilson lied on her reports, two of them, saying she'd interviewed someone. But the truth was she didn't talk to anyone. Instead, she just left a business card. A trainee working with Wilson reported her. Wilson is now charged with two felonies for falsifying DCF records. There are some children that are born in horrific situations, and they're surviving on their own at five years old. We wanted to make sure that if we ever got caught out to those situations, that five-year-old little kid is going to be safe because the Pasco Sheriff's Office is there. The Sheriff's Office says they look back at dozens of Wilson's other cases but haven't found any serious problems. In recent years, we've reported on the arrest of other CPI investigators from around the Bay Area for lying about drug tests and falsifying records. The Pasco Sheriff's Office says they are now planning on putting body-worn cameras on all CPI investigators. They were the first department in the Bay Area to use them with deputies. In Pasco County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.